Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man, flock nation. What the hell is good with y'all, yo? How y'all feeling today, man? Brand new year. Uh, still feeling good off the win. This is part two of the week 17 uh, ass whooping of the Miami Dolphins. Now, I didn't come on here to talk about the Dolphins too much today. I really didn't. And I'm not going to. Uh, we may see them again, so I'm not going to go in right now. But I do want to talk about Richard Sermon before I get my points. Before I forget my points. I literally heard Richard Sermon today say he believes Christian McCaffrey should still win MVP, right? Lamar's five touchdown game didn't help much. It's literally what he said. I told y'all, I was with your sermon in the first half, first half of the season. I get your point, all that shit, right? But again, here we go again when, when I say, when we look at the numbers and do our homework, you find out what's real and what's not, right? I watched Richard Sherman give his take. I watched that video at least four times, yo. At least four times, I swear. How you say Christian McCaffrey deserved MVP when he not even, to his own standards, to Christian McCaffrey's own standards, he's having his own individual, statistically, his own individual MVP year. But when you look at all the MVPs that's ever been an MVP as a running back, which ain't many, and just how you sat there and brought up within the last 10 years, the last and most recent MVP winner that was a running back was Adrian Peterson, who had over 2,000 yards. Christian McCaffrey only got 1,400. So what's that? What, what, what is mind-blowing that he's doing? Nothing. You gonna sit here and tell me he Christian McCaffrey deserve a, a, a MVP over AP? Come on now. But you know what? If we can excuse Christian McCaffrey, because we're gonna sit there and say, well, this is what the NFL is right now. Then guess what? This is what the NFL is right now, and this is what it is. Ain't too many people, if I, I don't know too many, that got over 30 touchdowns this season. Matter of fact, you could downplay Lamar five TDs if you want, Richard Sherman. But you can sit up here and deny Patrick Mahomes got 27 touchdowns. Josh Allen got 27 touchdowns to Lamar 24. So who, you just sat there and said Josh Allen should be the front runner for MVP. He don't even have 30 TDs. And it's crazy because I sat there and watched ESPN put up some bullshit up on their platform talking about Josh Allen and James Jones too, you, you, you wet balloon. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Josh Allen got 40 plus TDs, 50 plus TDs. No, the fuck he don't. He got 27 passing touchdowns. Lamar got 24 now off of a five game passing y'all passing touchdown game, yo. And you're going to sit here and say he, he, uh, he didn't prove nothing? Every MVP then had third, at least 30 touchdowns. Okay. All right. You made your point. But if you're going to sit there and acknowledge that, acknowledge Josh Allen ain't got 30 passing touchdowns. Acknowledge Pat Mahomes ain't got 30 passing touchdowns. Lamar just had 17. This motherfucker bumped up to 24. What are we talking about? Why are you spreading bullshit, Sherman? Matter of fact, I got to hit you with your own shit. Will you try us with a sorry analyst like Richard Sherman? That's the result you that's the result you're gonna get. Who was who was talking about you? Who was talking about Raymond? That, that, that nigga Richard Sherman. 
Don't you open your mouth about the Lamar. Don't you open your mouth about the best. Or Ravens fuck, Ravens Nation going to start it for you real quick. What are you talking about? Christian McCaffrey. Tell him to put up 2,000 rushing yards. What are you talking about, Tyreek Hill? Tell him to put up 2,000 receiving yards. Don't sit there and lower the standard just because it fit whatever argument you want to have. Had that same standard for everybody. It's only been Hall of Fame QBs that's been able to have perfect passing ratings in a fucking season, let alone three times in their career. If Lamar ain't do shit, all motherfucking season and still put up a five passing touchdown game. He would have still been a minute how he how he was yesterday off that damn win. How are you gonna discredit a game like that? If Christian McCaffrey had five rushing touchdowns, you would have been dick eating Sherman. If Josh Allen had five, five passing touchdowns, you would have been dicky in Sherman. What are we talking about? Michael Irvin, you sitting there sounding like motherfucking Grover. I don't know what the fuck you was talking about. Just to sit there and ultimately say you still believe the Martin MVP. Don't pacify this nigga over here. You telling this motherfucker he's straight up wrong. Tell him you know what the fuck he talking about. We got to look at the whole picture. Bitch, then show the fucking stats on the fucking screen. Show the fucking stats on the screen, bro. What are you talking about? Show that shit on the screen. 24 passing touchdowns. 27 passing touchdowns for motherfucking Pat. Mahomes and Josh Allen. Lamar got 24. Neither one of them got 30 passing touchdowns. So you going to discredit them? It is what it is for the season. You go off of what's there for MVP to make your decision. And you go off of the best record. I don't give a fuck about no individual stats like that, bro. Who got the best record in the NFL? Who just had a five passing yard touchdown game? Perfect passer rating on the season. Who? Don't sit there and shortchange us, motherfucker. Sherman, I don't know what your issue is, bro, but you better tighten the fuck up. All right? Because if you, your rabbit ass motherfucking mind, you must be one of the motherfucking uh, Bills Mafia fucking fans that think, I, I don't know what the fuck y'all be thinking. I don't even want to. We had a conversation the other day about wanting to see the Bills just because if they think that they the best, that's going to prove something and we're going to shut them down. We're going to show them blah, blah, blah. I don't even want to see the fucking Bills. There's no point to. I If you. If the 49ers couldn't do nothing with us. If the Miami Dolphins couldn't do nothing with us, you think this motherfucker who every pass, every touchdown pass he got, he got a fucking interception for. If you think that motherfucker can stop us, you got another motherfucking 50 burger game coming to you. Okay? Motherfucking Lamar. Versus Josh Allen. Josh, they've been in the league the same amount of time. Allen started way more games. Why the fuck is Josh Allen turnover rate 31 interceptions more than goddamn Lamar Jackson? You gonna sit there and tell me he ain't no turnover machine? You gonna sit there and tell me he deserved MVP still when he turned the ball over like this? He don't even have the best record. Lamar do.
the Mardu. The argument is, is becoming asinine. The argument has become uh, uh, redundant. The argument has become watered down by Sherman's uh, lackadaisical takes. You're not even showing nothing that you're saying, bro. Everything that I'm saying, I can sit there and prove to you. McCaffrey don't got 2,000 rushing yards. That's the only way you're getting MVP from a motherfucking uh, 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 as a running back. He said, he said, what you need to say, and shout out to who uh, who said it in the comments, too. I don't know if it was Ravens over everything. I don't know if it was people from, I forget. I can't remember. If y'all remember, if y'all, whoever said it, drop your name in the comments. I'm going to pin that motherfucker. I swear to God, I got you. Uh, they literally said he needed to be offensive player of the year, either Tyreek or Christian McCaffrey. End of story. End of story. But if you're going to be MVP as a running back, you need to at least have 2K rushing yards. Christian McCaffrey don't got that. At least have 2,000 passing uh, uh, receiving yards. Tyreek Hill don't got that. Oh, well, as a QB, you need to have at least 30 touchdowns. None of the QBs got that. So now what? Okay. So now we go off of who got the best record. That's what you do. That's what you do. Sherman. Off this nigga, man. Next subject. Uh, who I wanted to shout out yesterday I didn't get to shout out, man. Kyle Van Noy, man. I was not one of the biggest fans of him. Uh, Shouts out to him for doing this thing. Uh, he's really stepped up for us. Been, been very crucial for us. He was crucial in that game for us, getting a sack. Um... I talked about Bateman, talked about Justice Hill, uh, Zay Flowers. Uh, I find Colin Cowherd, he was hilarious this morning. He said, you got a 5'9", uh, 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 rookie wide receiver in Zay Flowers, and he got to get the case of the dropsy sometimes. <laughs> that was funny. That tickled me. But overall, Zay Flowers is clutch for us. I don't give a damn. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Hollywood uh, Brown situation too. First of all, I don't give a fuck whether he was right or wrong. My thing, and always been my thing with Hollywood, was you didn't fight for the ball. Uh, number two, uh, you put that tweet out, and I don't like this. Stand on business for for whatever you want to do. You shouldn't need Lamar's approval if you feel some type of way. I, I didn't understand the point of throwing Lamar name out there when you could have just said, I really just, I felt like putting the tweet up. Just say that. But either way, you did what you did. And I said at, very shortly after that, now all lies is going to be on you. you. You didn't do much. That, I mean, you did the best you could that season, given what we had to work with. But even still, uh, that was your best season ever in your career. So for you to say it wasn't working for you, I don't understand that, bub. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, and then to double down on that by saying, I'm going to leave from here and go play with who you said the QB made you better, a better wide receiver in your career. You went to motherfucker Kyler Murray. Motherfuckers told you, what the fuck are you doing? Kyler Murray ain't no motherfucking Lamar Jackson. He's not even on his fucking level. And you're going to sit there and say, you're going to go play with him because he made you a better wide receiver. Okay, bet. Where the better wide receiver numbers at? Okay, bet. Why are they talking about you about to be unrestricted free agent? Okay, bet. Why it sound like you about to be on a prove it deal? What are you talking about, Hollywood? You sitting there talking with motherfucking uh 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 twenty year olds, twenty one year olds, bro. Talk to somebody that's really gonna question your motherfucking ass and not gonna sit there and be oh I remember what you talking about. Nigga, fuck that tweet. What about them damn stats this year? Why you ain't do shit ever since motherfucking you left the Ravens, bro? This dude crazy as hell, man. Hollywood, we don't even care, bro. Let it go. It's over and done with. We, Lamar stayed down. Even Bateman stayed down. Tyler Wallace stayed down. Uh, um... Devin, du Devin DuVernay stayed down, even though he, he out this year right now, but... All these people stayed down. You wanted to jump ship. Now we benefit. Now you want to talk shit. Come on, man. 
Come on, bro. You come on, bro. Leave that shit where it was, man. We we all view Marquise. Zay is way better than you. He fight for the ball better than you. He fight for yards better than you. He catch more touchdowns better than you. He's the best rookie we done had since motherfucking Tory Smith. He's better than Tory Smith. We don't need to talk about you ever again, Hollywood. I'm sorry. It, it, that ship is sailed. Sorry, bro. Um, moving along. Uh, what else I wanted to talk about? Um. I think the, the 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 main the main thing I want to get into before this video is over. Uh, let's talk about the Steelers game and what we need to do uh, after this Steelers game. It's a lot of controversy, a lot of questions on what we should do with Lamar, uh, whether he should play or not. I'm fine with with Lamar playing a quarter. I'm fine with Lamar playing a half. It, it is what it is, you know. Is if we see something dirty going on, you know, whatever, pull them. But uh, if we can get that thirty touchdowns, I'm fine with that too. Just to shut Sherman ass the fuck up. But I hate I hate to go out like that trying to prove something to somebody that don't even they they really just saying anything and just dicky. But it, 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 either way, how it's gonna go, however it's gonna go. I'm just saying I would love if we could do something like that. But if we don't, it's all good. We need to focus on the playoffs. And that's my next thing, too. Uh, Steelers, y'all really don't got nothing to play for. Um, in my opinion, y'all be better off playing for a motherfucking uh, uh, a better draft pick. Start over. You know, y'all really don't need to worry about us. And damn sure don't be need to try and hurt us either. But um, we need to lock the fuck in. Okay. We're going to be off. A whole week off. After that Steelers game, you feel me? We need the game plan. We need to lock the fuck in. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Marcus Williams. I don't know what's going on with, with Marlon Humphrey. But y'all two motherfuckers, like, all season been really pissing me off, bro. Like, I'm fine if you doing your podcast and you playing well. You doing your podcast and your game ain't been there all, all year. Be honest with you, Marlon. Ever since you got paid, you ain't really been doing much for us. People been, you know, giving you hella praise, you know, this whole season and low-key last season. Tomorrow, he don't get targeted, he don't get targeted. And look like every time I turn around, when we rely on you, you're not there. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, you had your one good game this year versus the Dolphins. Okay, cool. But that ain't enough going off of what you got paid for, bro. I'm just keeping it 100 with you, man. Marlon, I fuck with you, dog. Like, you keep it 100, bro. But I'm going to keep it 100 with you, too, on your game this year. It ain't been there, bro. It ain't been there, man. And I need you to step the fuck up, bro. If you hurt and out for the season and something major, all right, cool. I can't say too much. But, bro, if you could still play throughout these rest of these stretches of these playoff games, bro, step the fuck up, man. And not, I'm not even going that hard on you for it. I really got everything to say to this motherfucking Marcus Williams, bro. Like, ooh. ever since maybe week 10, 12 maybe, probably since week 12. They kept telling me, oh, well, he coming back from injury. He coming back from injury. He coming back from injury. Are we still using that same excuse for Marcus Williams right now? Like, there, there's no excuse he should be playing this bad right now, bro. Like, he had his one little garbage pick interception, but, like, you're doing nothing for us. Like, you don't even put no fear in nobody when you go to tackle, bro. Like, now, granted, that ain't been your game. I'm not going, I'm not going to do that to you. That ain't been, that never been your game. Uh, I, I'll say that. That's never been your game. But at least get some motherfucking turnovers, bro. Like, how you let Gino Stone not play you? And I'm not throwing no shade towards Gino. But, Gino, we we didn't expect what we seen from him this year to even happen. So why is he outplaying you and you the one that got the bag? Like, come on, bro. Step the fuck up, yo. Like, come on, dog. Um, OBJ. I can't stress it enough. That catch was crazy. Um, likely, Isaiah Likely, man. Shouts out to him. Uh, I also wanted to talk about John Harbaugh, too. Shouts out to my dog, Fred, man. He was like, he was the first one before we even had the game. He was like, man, bro, I got to tell you, man. I'm really 
turning the corner and, and, and really starting to uh, appreciate John Harbaugh. And I get understanding. <clears throat> the only thing I could ask from John, the only thing I could ask from John uh, in regards to this season, in regards to what we got to deal with soon, uh, be smart, over prepare. Um, and please, John, with all due respect, let, let's just let Lamar and Monken figure it out themselves. I don't know how much uh, involvement you have when it comes to calls or game game plan or whatever it may be, uh, plays. Uh, I don't know how much involvement you have, but John, I'm going to need you to pull back some. I've been saying this for a while. Pull back some. Uh, all you got to do is just kick your feet up and know when to challenge plays. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is it. If you see something crazy, say something. Let us know. But kick back and just know when to throw the red flag. That's it. That's all I ask, John. So I can ask and, and over prepare because we need to be the fuck ready when we come off of that motherfucking bye. I'm not trying to hear nothing about no fucking one and done this year. I'm not. This is the year we go all the way. This is the year we win an AFC championship. This is the year we go to the motherfucking Super Bowl in Vegas. This is the year we fucking win that bitch. This is the year when niggas start putting respect on Lamar Jackson and this motherfucking squad, bro. It's, it's 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 evident, man. We're the best team in the NFL right now, bro. And Lamar is looking effortless. Lamar is looking like he he's finally uh, uh, arrives, so to speak. Um, we just build on this, man. I really don't have much critiquing from this game. It was flawless. Uh, other than McDonald, you know, giving up a few plays here and there, but that's to be expected. He's been able to do that all this year, so to speak. Like. We've been giving up yards, giving up yards, giving up yards, but it's never really that much to where as though we have to um, rely on late game heroics for us to win the game. You know, it's, it's <laughs> what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, controlled. Um, what is it? organized madness or what is it organized mess something along those lines if y'all get what i'm trying to say but either way we still find a way to figure it out you know what i'm saying from uh from these games uh, defensively uh offensively again the way we respond to uh adversity when a team comes down and just scores we right back down their throats right back at it i'm saying we struggled a few times here and there in the game like stalling drives, but I didn't really get upset by that because it seemed like they did pull their foot off the gas because there wasn't no need to, 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 you know, rev the fucking engine up, so to speak. We didn't need to at that point in time. Uh, my dog Fresh Life was waiting for us to, but I didn't think we needed to. But just as, just as I'm saying that, we still went back up and got damn scored right after they scored. So we, we, we clicking, man. We clicking. And again, I can't stress it enough. I did not think this would be the game we would click. I really thought we was going to do that going into the playoffs. But here we are. And I'm I'm more than grateful. I'm more, I'm more than thankful to see uh, one of the youngest, greatest quarterbacks of, of my era uh, uh, operate like this, man. I can't stress it enough. Kurt Warner was one of my favorite, is my one of my favorite quarterbacks I've ever got to see growing up. Um, Lamar Jackson is right in the same company as him. And I don't mean uh, second half career or later years career of motherfucking Kurt Warner. I'm talking about prime Kurt Warner, bro. You feel me? Lamar is like the Frankenstein of the NFL at QB right now. Like, he got the arm of, of this player, the, the the legs of this player, the mind of this player. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just doing it how he doing it, man. And, and I, I really, I don't understand why there's still um, not even questions, why there's still a debate at this point on, on what his value is on what his greatness is, but uh, we're going to get there, man. 
Flock Nation, Ravens Nation, man. It was good rapping with y'all. This is the part two of week 17 analysis. Uh, y'all feel free to drop in the comments. I'm definitely always going to respond to y'all, man. Uh, uh, it's up, man. We got Steelers next week or Saturday. We got Steelers this Saturday coming up. Uh, really should be a, a, a light game. Uh, shots out to our Pro Bowl backup QB, who I expect to get a good portion of the game. Uh, even Malik Cunningham, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, let's do our thing and prepare, man. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, we don't know who we're going to be seeing, but uh, let's let's go out with a bang this season and focus. Lock the fucking Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation. Motherfucking... Uh, 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 I don't know who else to shout out right now, but shouts out to all y'all watching right now, man. Uh, y'all be safe, man. Unless something else comes across my path this week, I'm sure it will. I'll be right back with y'all. I'll be talking about some shit. I'm break it down. I'ma let y'all know what's going around. You feel me? All that, man. Uh, but I'ma holler at y'all the next one, man. I'm out. Y'all be safe. Y'all protect our energy out here, man. Bye. Lock game, I'm out.